Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here. Welcome back to another video for Elden Ring. And in this one, I want to go through six awesome bleed weapons that you should now be giving a try. Of course, as of the most recent 1.03 update, some of the weapons that were previously bugged due to non-existent arcane scaling are now in full effect. So, of course, blood builds just became even more exciting. So in this video, I want to go through six blood-related weapons, blood loss build-up weapons that you should check out. So if you guys do enjoy this, a like would be super appreciated. Comment down below. Let me know if there are any more that you guys enjoy using that perhaps I have not mentioned and do be sure to keep it locked for plenty more Elden Ring. So kicking it off with Eleonora's Pole Blade, a weapon that I am very glad to be using now. This of course is the Darth Maul Twin Blade. Absolutely love this thing just because it looks incredibly awesome. This of course the one with the unique skill Blood Blade Dance where you leap at the foe to perform a flurry of tornado like attacks. You follow up with an additional input to perform an attack that ends in an evasive maneuver. Admittedly this move here it is quite cool, it's quite flashy, sometimes it does put you in some precarious positions, sometimes the sort of jump back afterwards actually puts you away from combat where you kind of don't want to be, so if you do just want to use this purely from a blood loss build up point of view, just using the regular combos is actually a lot more viable a lot of the time. The main move is still really cool, and again if the situation presents itself it is quite handy, but if you are just going for the speed of hits, also just two handing this thing and just using your regular RB or R1 attack is also very potent. Most importantly, obviously as of the most recent patch, this thing actually does some decent damage now, so it is officially viable. If you guys want to get this one, then we have done a complete guide on how to get this one. It does of course involve completing a quest chain, so be sure to click the video that I will link in the description box down below if you want the full guide. Next up on the list, of course, I have to mention Rivers of Blood. I know I did a standalone video on this one, but I cannot do a six bleed weapons you need to try without including Rivers of Blood. This, of course, was a fantastic looking katana before, but of course, it was also one of the ones that fell victim to the non-existent arcane scaling. But as of the most recent patch, this thing is quite possibly the best katana in the game right now. It is incredibly powerful. The unique skill of Corpse Piler basically allows you to do these fast flurries of attacks, which dish out crazy damage and, of course, work towards that blood loss buildup. So this is a brutal combo. And and of course, again, once upgraded, you can, of course, benefit from the appropriate scaling. So this thing is officially back on the menu. Again, if you guys want to get this one, you need to go over to the Church of Repose and you then need to defeat the invader. If you want a more in-depth guide, I would again link the how-to in the description box down below. But this one, if you like your katanas, if you like your bleed builds, this is now without question one you should be running with. Moving on from there, we then have a rather interesting weapon, one that I've been wanting to try out properly for a while, and that is Mogwin's Sacred Spear. Of course, this comes from one of the bosses. I will not show you the boss, but of course, once you have defeated Mogwin in Mogwin's Palace, you can then go to Roundtable Hold and you can trade one of your remembrances for this spear. It has the unique skill Bloodborne Ritual, where you raise the Sacred Spear and pierce the body of the Formless Mother, stab up to three times, creating explosions of blood, with each thrust. Now admittedly it's not the fastest of weapons, it does of course still apply blood loss build up, doesn't take too many hits for it to proc, but of course this is also just quite a nice weapon from a farming point of view, if you are maybe sort of specced into decks and arcane, maybe you don't necessarily have the means to use one of the other weapons that makes farming super efficient, then you can of course go to the famous rune farming spot and use this to kill a large chunks of enemies in a relatively short space of time, making it a pretty nice pick. It's an awesome looking weapon, admittedly it might not necessarily be your all time go to, but the fact that of course we can now mess around with this, I am thoroughly enjoying it. In addition to that, the other one, of course, again, another boss weapon, same principle, defeat this boss, and of course you can trade the Remembrance for that, that is Morgoth's Cursed Sword. I like the look of this one, I like the sort of a uh, heated metal look, the sort of uh, spectral rainbow colouring on it, but we of course have the unique skill Cursed Blood Slice, where you brace, then charge forward to deliver a downward diagonal slice. The bloody trail of the blade is then followed by a burst of flames and you can press an additional input to do a second follow-up attack. So of course during the thrust motion you are also attacking which of course can stagger enemies and you then have these two follow-up burning attacks. Again this does do blood loss build up. It's a little slower on the weapon front of course not necessarily as slow as Mogwin's spear but as swords go keep in mind that uh, while this might look slightly smaller it is considered a great sword hence the uh, slightly slower attack speed. But this thing is hella cool to use, hand prop bleed, and also just looks super stylish in motion. Then of course again, it's always worth mentioning if you are doing blood related builds, blood loss builds, Reduvia, the dagger is fantastic, it is an incredibly quick weapon, of course when it comes to building up that blood loss you want fast attacks, Reduvia is fantastic. I fortunately have two, one of my friends very kindly traded me a second one, so of course power stance in these is a lot of fun but you still have the unique skill Reduvia Blood Blade, and you then basically send out these Blood Blades, which are super cool. They again also proc the Blood Loss build up pretty damn quickly, and this also gives you a nice ranged offering when you consider that you don't normally have too much range with daggers. So again, if you want to get this one, you need to go over to Limgrave. You want to go to the south of the Murkwater Catacombs. Simply run down this lake until the invader spawns. Kill him, he will drop his dagger. 
And then finally, for the very last one, we have Hounslow's Petal Whip. This is super cool. Honestly, I haven't spent a great deal of time using whips in the game, but this one is actually really, really nice. Of course, again, does have blood loss buildup. And this one is one of the weapons that you can apply any Ash of War on, or at least provided it fits that weapon type. So it does have a degree of customization. In this situation, I, of course, also use the whip blade so that I can apply blood to this to boost the bloodless build up even further so this thing actually procs pretty quickly again when you sort of compare it to some of the other offerings it might not necessarily be as potent as say the rivers of blood but this thing is really nice of course has some nice range and as of the most recent update if you complete the quest line from this lad here the new jar then you can actually get a second one of these so you can dual wield them power starts them for some additional whip antics so there you have it there's a list of six bleed items that you should definitely check out bleed weapons you should definitely check out if you are running a blood loss build again let me know in the comments down below if you guys have got any other suggestions and of course if you missed our recent upload be sure to check out this video and keep it locked for plenty more Elden Ring